everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I've got something a little different for you. I thought it might be fun to start revisiting some of our favorites from the past and we're gonna start off with my family's very favorite slow cooker recipes. These are dishes that I make often that my family enjoys all the time that are super easy to make and are no brainers for me to cook and I know they are for you as well. Today we're gonna share with you once again my chicken and sausage gumbo my golden mushroom chicken, and my Mississippi pork roast. All in the slow cooker, all super quick, all super easy to throw together. And with summer being upon us, we don't wanna heat up our kitchens. So my recommendation to you is if you have a covered porch, a carport, a covered patio or deck, consider putting your slow cooker outside on a table that's nice and clean and cook it out there all day. That way you don't heat up your kitchen, you don't bring that heat of the day into your house, and then all you have to do is cook some sides, mashed potatoes, rice, noodles, whatever goes with your dish, and everybody's gonna be happy. The other bonus here is that all of these dishes make plenty for leftovers. No matter what size your family, you can adjust the amounts. Remember, if you wanna see the full versions of these videos, I'll be sure and put links down below in the description box, as well as in an I card on the screen. Just hit that little I in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, and it will pop out a little thing for you to look at all those videos that you'd like to see. So without further ado, here we go with my family's very favorite slow cooker meals. Since this is a chicken and sausage style gumbo, we're gonna be starting off with about two pounds of chicken tenders, two pounds of smoked beef sausage. We're going to be using a 28 ounce can of diced petite tomatoes, two cans of tomatoes and green chilies, one 12 ounce bag of frozen cut okra. Approximately, now these containers, these little bowls are approximately a cup. So you can see that they're heaping. I used a half of a very large sweet onion. I used approximately four ribs of celery along with the greens and one green bell pepper. Uh, I have two tablespoons of minced garlic and I have one serrano chili that I removed the seeds and ribs and I just minced it up really well. We're gonna season everything here with a teaspoon of salt, a couple of big bay leaves, a half teaspoon of thyme, and a teaspoon of dried oregano. We're also gonna be using about two cups of uh, chicken stock or broth. Now it's time to dump and go. So I have the vessel of my slow cooker all ready to go. I already put in the 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, in with the tomatoes and green chilies, in with our garlic, our serrano, all of our spices, in with our celery, our green bell pepper, and our onion. We're adding this 12 ounce bag of frozen okra, chicken tenders. I'm gonna go ahead and add this little bit of chicken stock. It is about two cups. So then I'm just gonna give all this a good toss. I'm gonna put the lid on this. I'm gonna forget about it for the rest of the day and I'll bring you back when it's time to eat. There you have it, our chicken and sausage gumbo straight from the slow cooker, all ready to enjoy for our evening meal. We're gonna use two pounds of chicken breast, boneless, skinless, I just threw them in the bottom. We're going to add to this two eight ounce packages of sliced mushrooms. These are cremini's, but you can use white button if that's what you prefer. A one pound package of baby cut carrots. And the sauce is going to be comprised of two cans of Campbell's Golden Mushroom Condensed Soup. I'm gonna go ahead and add some chicken stock in here. So what you wanna do is put your two cans of soup in your measuring cup and then add enough liquid to measure approximately four cups. This is gonna give you enough sauce to cook everything beautifully, as well as give you a nice amount of gravy. And it's as simple as just pop it in there. When this is ready to serve, we'll bring you back and we'll show you what it looks like. Our golden mushroom chicken is ready to serve. So I hope you give this golden mushroom chicken a try sometime soon, and I hope you love it. I'm starting 
starting out with about a three pound pork loin. We're gonna have one medium onion, just sliced thin. I have one 16 ounce bottle of sliced pepperoncinis or pickled banana peppers, and that is, you, you can leave them out, but it's not gonna be Mississippi roast without that. I'm also adding two to three cloves of minced garlic. This is one small packet of au jus gravy mix and one packet of ranch dressing mix. Today I am using my homemade ranch dressing mix. This equates to approximately three tablespoons. And then we're gonna need butter. We're gonna use four tablespoons or half a stick of butter. It's still gonna lend all that delicious flavor. And I'm gonna add a cup of water because my meat is frozen. It's gonna help the steaming process and get everything cooking super fast. All right, I have the pork roast that I took out of the bag, plop it right in the vessel, and now we're just gonna start building everything. What I like to do is take the powders first, and we're just gonna sprinkle those right over top of the meat. And then we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, arrange everything thusly. Now, traditionally, the Mississippi roasts that I have seen do not add the extra garlic and onions, but I figure, how could that be a bad thing? And this is a whole jar and I am adding the juice. And then we're just gonna put these pats of butter right on top of the meat. And then I'm gonna put this cup of water. Today I'm gonna cook this between six and eight hours. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be closer to eight. Our Mississippi pork roast cooked all day, about seven hours. We're gonna serve this with some mashed potatoes and some glazed carrots. And that's what we're gonna call dinner. Mm -hmm. 